Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you're doing well. We're going to tap into your energy to get uh, some messages and hopefully will be helpful for you on your journey this week or whenever you find yourself uh, at this video. Please keep in mind these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you. Check with your other placements, your rising sign, your moon sign, any of the other zodiac that stand out to you. Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, what are the messages for Virgo, please? This is a very potent week of lessons, of change, of enlightenment, king of swords. Judgment, wow. Uh, I see a lot. I see a lot of people breaking through and justice. Wow. Okay. Six of cups overall. So Virgo, you're, you've come to a point in your life where your perspective is definitely, you're able to really see the bigger picture now. You've gained a lot of insight, a lot of wisdom, and he's at the top of the mountain, looking down, reflecting and pondering on all that he's experienced and retelling a new story, a new narrative on all of it, because there's a lot of understanding here. There's a lot of knowledge and there's also a lot of inner knowing. This is a, an all-time all high. This is uh, for you. This is, wow, aha. I think I actually am starting to get it now. Where life didn't make any sense before, or certain parts of life just didn't make any sense. The pieces of the puzzle are starting to be put together for you, by you, judgment. And you are connecting to your spirit, your soul, and your spirit guides, the cosmos. This is a wake up call. And it looks as though, by the looks of it, Virgo, the Virgo I'm speaking to, you're heeding that call. Look at that card. Breaking free from all of the constraints, all of the parts that have micromanaged you internally and kept you small and kept you stuck and kept you uh, hiding in fear. It's all stripped away. You finally got to the center of the Tootsie Pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, uh, they, they keep showing me how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Virgo, you've gotten there. You're at your center, your core, your soul, yourself, your true essence, which is a spiritual being having a human experience. Justice. This brings so much balance into your life, into your world, into your experience, and you are able to see the mirror reflection of yourself in everyone and everything. It's beautiful when we get to that point. It's just life has a whole different taste, different feel, and... Um, it seems as though you're still at the stage of really connecting backwards, connecting back to um, this could even be your spirit animal, could be a dog, could
connecting to your childhood, connecting to that which those who have been loyal and loving regardless, unconditionally loving. We have temperance below that. Virgo, temperance, justice, judgment, and the wheel. King of Cups. This is big. This is big. Let's keep going here. This is beautiful. Whew. Okay. So this is like really coming out of a, a dark period, uh, out of the shadows, out of the tar, the muck of the density, the density. Okay, let's see. Let's dive a little deeper into this for you, Virgo. Hmm. Tell me about King of Swords, please. Surrounded by birds, messengers. You're picking up what the universe is putting down. Your intuition is picking up as well, which is that's how you pick up. Seven of Voices. Yeah. Mm, Virgo. <laughs> Let me get a couple more cards here, but this is a big message. So, okay. That's too many. Come on now, guys. All right. They want me to stop. One of the biggest realizations that you're having right now, Virgo, is your own perspective. When you are engaged with life and you're viewing it through the lens of your pain, of your anger, of your disappointment, everything around you seems as though it is out to get you. It is out to disappoint you. It is a trickster. It cannot be trusted. But when you change the way you feel internally about yourself and about life and your light turns on, Suddenly, everything around you is beautiful, magical, mystical, light, fluffy, enjoyable, playful. It's all on how you look at it, right? When you change the way you view the world, the world around you changes just like that. It is a reflection of your inner world. Now, obviously not all of it, but your personal, personal world. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Um, the lovers. Interesting. So you may be having some help in this wake up call. I do remember the lovers coming out for you in the last reading, Virgo. Something about a connection to another, the duality of this connection, but the magic of this connection as well, and the energy that was exchanged between you and another was so potent, it was so cosmic, it was so otherworldly. You knew there was something to it, but without having those epiphanies, not without being connected to your soul source, without being connected to your heart, this really just was a bunch of confusion to you. And it looks beautiful, it looks pretty, but it also, um, I see there's two people here and they are not connecting. They're connecting here, but then in their outer world, their ego bodies, they're not even looking at each other. They're in separate realities altogether. So you may have had, now this could also reflect for those of you who have not had this type of experience and not everybody does, you may have been so separated from yourself, parts of yourself that you were not feeling whole inside and Suddenly, or not so suddenly, this energy's been working with you, life's been working with you to really wake you up and crack you open so that you can reconnect with all of your parts and your right and left brain, masculine, feminine energy 
are working harmoniously so that you're able to, yes, use the logical mind for that which you need, but also that feeds off of the intuitive mind and the receptive mind, all one. Well, we're not really mono-minded, but it is the different hemispheres of the brain working in harmony. Let's see. But for many of you, this is, it is that, but it is also linked to another person who's reflecting and showing us the duality within us in a very intense way. Tell me about justice, please, for Virgo. Thank you. I think it was very hard for you to believe. High Priestess. Okay. Here we go. Again, you have that intuitive insight, that inner knowing, and maybe some other psychic senses as well, but um, you're hiding from it. You're hiding it and hiding from it and really feeling blocked, trapped, and stuck in whatever darkness, whatever pain that you are refusing to um, go into for healing could be an avoidant, uh, avoidant of your own feelings. And when we run and hide and avoid hard feelings and our own darkness, we really don't go anywhere. <laughs> we find ourselves constantly running and constantly feeling trapped by it. Constantly create, recreating more experiences to show us how stuck we are in this darkness. But the high priestess knows. So whatever's woke you up, it's like, oh, I actually did know that. I did know that. I didn't trust it. I didn't believe it. It was too good to be true. It was too hard to believe. Well, that's changing. Good for you. All right. So where's this going now for Virgo, please? Please tell us, where's all this going for Virgo? The world, completing a cycle. Now, as you come towards the end of this cycle, Virgo, it is important that you um, take with you all of the lessons that you've learned, all the wisdom that you've gained and embody that this is now the, the true you, the new true you. And there's usually some tests that we have to experience to really anchor in our true essence, our truth. Are you loyal to yourself? Are you loyal to your soul's growth and your evolutionary process? Are you loyal to your journey here of opening up? of swords so you're right now being asked to surrender to this awakening journey this awakening process surrender your thoughts surrender your mind your beliefs this is probably one of the hardest things to do depending on how strong of uh how strong your belief system is, how much you've been programmed and conditioned. We basically have to unlearn everything that we were taught in our entire lifetime. And that's no easy feat <laughs> time to time. Okay. All right. Beautiful. <clears throat> so surrender. Surrender your belief systems, your old belief systems. Just Go in with a blank slate. I know nothing. Show me. Show me, universe. Teach me. 
help me understand, understand, because it's a knowing, it's a feeling. And you are definitely overcoming some really big fears right now. Really big fears. And that is such something to be so proud of. We have the chariot overall energy moving forward, moving forward on the journey. And um, everybody's on board. It looks as though all your parts, mind, body, spirit, duality, all the different parts. It's like, all right, here we go. I want to trust this journey wherever it's taken me. Six of Cups again below that. So there's definitely some reflection on your past and somebody that's really important to you or, or an experience that you had that's linked to this awakening. And it's important that you keep that connection, that energetic connection in the beginning stages because this will actually open up more insight and awareness and um, it'll be very helpful for you. So that's a good thing. All right, Virgo, let's get you one last message here. We're going to read from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. And this can even just be your own self as a younger, as a child. You may have had experiences as a child intuitive experiences, experiences with the cosmos that um, are resonating right now, deeply resonating. So that's beautiful. So Virgo, if you're liking this message so far, or this video so far, please don't forget to click the like button below the video. YouTube algorithms require that we have so many likes so that the um, content gets circulated around a little bit more for other people who may need to hear the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Feel free to comment. I love to read all your comments. And if you're interested in a personal reading, you can book that through my website, bethechange333.com. That information is also in the description box below. Back to you, Virgo. Final message and advice for Virgo, please. This is a beautiful message. It's a beautiful experience. Thank you. We have in perfect harmony. And it's possible that the harmonics of the frequencies right now are really working with you and you're finding a resonance suddenly where you had not in the past and you really were like really strapped down into that density, you could barely see. It's very liberating. It's beautiful, beautiful experience. It's like being reborn all over again. Okay, Virgo, togetherness. Healthy and harmonious partnerships, commitment to a relationship, collaboration with others, interdependence. So that explains the lovers for many of you. You're entering a time of healthy, harmonious partnerships. Collaboration is key here as you're invited to explore the potential inherent in making a commitment to another person, a group, or even to yourself. Know that you're bringing different gifts to the table. You don't have to be in exact lock steps with everyone else. Being your authentic self actually brings you into alignment with others. You are a note in a harmony that neither overpowers nor is overpowered by any other. Your beautiful interdependence allows you all to shine. Just keep an eye out for a sign that your subconscious which has been conditioned by your previous hurts and experiences is working in a way not in accord with what your healthy self intends. So be mindful of that part. <clears throat> For example, you may desire a relationship but expect to be betrayed so you unconsciously sabotage it. You say you want to lose weight but continue to eat compulsively and avoid exercise. In these moments, you are not attuned with yourself, and this disharmony spills out into all other parts of your life. If this is happening, you might want to take a hard look at yourself, do a self-inventory, forgive yourself, and then start singing a new song of self-love and acceptance. 
What's really great about this is how quickly you are now able to turn this around. Have no fear. It is so easy to get back in tune. All it takes is self-honesty and a willingness to heal. You can do it. This is really such a fortunate time. And it truly is, Virgo, you can do this. You may have some nagging inner dialogue, old beliefs that creep up, uh, doubts, fears, all of those things, just witness them. But don't allow them to pull you back into old ways because it seems like you've come a long way and the divine is really holding your hand through this part. So embrace it. This is a beautiful experience and I love it. I hope that you found this helpful for you and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.